For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. On Monday, shares of Palantir Technologies dropped by more than 1% in pre-market trading after a notable downgrade from Raymond James. This downgrade followed significant gains in Palantir's stock, with the investment firm arguing that the company's shares need to consolidate after such a strong run over the past couple of years. Despite the downgrade, Raymond James analyst Brian Gezwale remained optimistic about Palantir's long-term potential particularly regarding its positioning in the artificial intelligence space. However, he expressed concerns that Palantir's stock valuation has become stretched, leading him to change his rating from outperform to market perform. To provide context, Palantir is trading at a high multiple, with the stock valued at over 21 times its estimated sales for 2026 and more than 26 times its projected sales for 2025. Historically, the company's stock has traded at around 15 times its sales, meaning that the current valuation is notably above its long-term average. Kaswale also highlighted that Palantir might be facing a potential Rule 40 regression, which suggests that the stock could eventually be priced at around 10.5 times its estimated sales for 2025. This cautious sentiment toward Palantir's stock is not isolated. Many analysts are taking a reserved stance on the company's near-term prospects, despite acknowledging its promising long-term future. And Wall Street analysts have similarly rated it as a hold. The reason for this cautious stance is largely tied to the broader macroeconomic environment and the rapid rise in stock prices, which have made some investors wary of Palantir's current valuation. Turning to the broader artificial intelligence market, it continues to experience explosive growth, revolutionizing industries across the board. A recent report by McKinsey highlighted the incredible surge in investment in artificial intelligence, with the sector experiencing a sevenfold increase in funding over the past few years. This remarkable growth has taken place even as other areas of the tech industry have faced slowdowns and economic challenges. The driving force behind this boom in artificial intelligence investment has been the increasing demand for artificial intelligence applications across sectors like data analysis, content creation, and predictive modeling. One of the most exciting developments within artificial intelligence has been the rise of generative artificial intelligence. This technology has already started to transform key industries such as marketing, customer service, and product design. By enabling businesses to generate high-quality content, analyze customer data more efficiently, and create innovative new products, generative artificial intelligence has quickly become one of the most sought-after technologies in today's market. As companies strive to remain competitive, they are increasingly turning to artificial intelligence tools to drive innovation, reduce costs, and unlock new revenue streams. In fact, many of the top performing companies globally are dedicating substantial portions of their budgets to artificial intelligence. These high performers in the artificial intelligence space often allocate more than 20% of their digital budgets to artificial intelligence technologies. Their focus is not solely on using artificial intelligence for cost-cutting purposes, rather, they see artificial intelligence as a key driver of future growth and new revenue opportunities. According to several industry reports, the artificial intelligence market is expected to grow even further, with predictions suggesting that artificial intelligence could contribute up to $13 trillion to the global economy by 2030. Over the next decade, artificial intelligence is anticipated to have a profound impact on global economic growth. Estimates from leading investment advisors at Goldman Sachs project that artificial intelligence tools could drive a 7% increase in global gross domestic product, which translates to around $7 trillion. Additionally, artificial intelligence is expected to enhance productivity growth by 1.5 percentage points worldwide. This productivity boost could help offset some of the economic challenges facing other sectors, as artificial intelligence-driven automation and data-driven decision-making become more widespread. Looking ahead, businesses are preparing for a major shift in their operations as artificial intelligence becomes more integrated into their infrastructure. Analysts expect established companies around the world to spend nearly $1 trillion on developing artificial intelligence infrastructure in the coming years. 
This infrastructure investment will be critical in supporting the growing number of artificial intelligence applications and enabling businesses to fully leverage the power of artificial intelligence to improve their products, services, and overall efficiency. Major investment firms have also recognized the immense potential of artificial intelligence and are moving quickly to capitalize on this opportunity. One prominent example is the recent news that BlackRock, in partnership with several tech companies, is planning to launch a massive investment fund focused entirely on artificial intelligence infrastructure. This fund, which is expected to exceed $30 billion in value, will invest in artificial intelligence-related projects such as data center construction and energy systems development. The rising demand for energy is a particularly important issue for businesses as artificial intelligence models require vast amounts of computational power leading to higher energy consumption. The scale of the computational power needed to support artificial intelligence workloads has prompted many tech giants to invest in building supercomputers and advanced data centers. These facilities are designed to handle the immense processing demands of artificial intelligence with supercomputer clusters made up of specialized chips, advanced cooling systems, and cutting-edge networking tools. As artificial intelligence continues to evolve and expand its use cases, these data centers will play an increasingly important role in powering artificial intelligence-driven applications. According to McKinsey, by 2025, between 15 and 20% of all data center workloads will be driven by artificial intelligence, up from less than 5% in 2020. The rapid growth in artificial intelligence-driven data centers is also raising concerns about energy consumption. A report from the International Energy Agency predicts that artificial intelligence data centers could account for as much as 13% of the world's electricity demand by 2030, assuming current growth trends continue. As a result, tech companies are investing billions of dollars in expanding their artificial intelligence infrastructure, not only to meet growing demand, but also to ensure that their operations are energy efficient and sustainable. Palantir Technologies, in particular, has been making headlines with its recent achievements in the artificial intelligence space. The company, which builds and deploys software platforms for government agencies and commercial clients, recently secured a $100 million contract with the United States Army. This agreement, awarded by the Development Command Army Research Laboratory, will expand the capabilities of the Army's artificial intelligence infrastructure, enabling it to support a wide range of military operations. Palantir software will assist in areas such as battlefield awareness, global integration, force management, logistics, joint operations, and targeting workflows. The contract extends the use of Palantir's Maven smart system to multiple branches of the United States military, including the Army, Air Force, Space Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. This deal highlights Palantir's growing influence in the defense sector as its artificial intelligence-driven solutions are increasingly being adopted to enhance military decision-making and operational efficiency. On the commercial side, Palantir continues to work with a diverse range of clients, including banks, hospitals, and other major organizations. The company's software is designed to help its clients make sense of vast amounts of data, improving their ability to make informed decisions and optimize their operations. As the demand for artificial intelligence solutions continues to grow, Palantir is well positioned to capitalize on the expanding market. City analyst Tyler Radke recently met with Palantir's chief financial officer, Dave Glazer, and shared his insights in a research note to investors. Radke reiterated his neutral rating on Palantir's stock, with a price target of $30. He highlighted the company's continued optimism about the momentum of its artificial intelligence platform, which has seen consistent growth despite broader macroeconomic challenges. However, Radke also pointed out that Palantir's recent inclusion in the S&P 500 index led to a 15% increase in its share price, which has driven its valuation to one of the highest in the software industry. Currently, Palantir is trading at 25 times its enterprise value to sales ratio for the next 12 months. Investors should remain cautious as the stock continues to trade at high valuations, even as the broader artificial intelligence market continues to grow. Today we discussed Palantir Technologies recent stock dip after a downgrade from Raymond James, with the company's valuation coming under scrutiny despite its long-term potential in artificial intelligence.
We also covered the ongoing boom in the artificial intelligence market driven by rising demand for artificial intelligence applications and infrastructure. High-performing companies are heavily investing in artificial intelligence with projections that artificial intelligence could contribute up to $13 trillion to the global economy by 2030. Palantir's recent military contract and its role in expanding artificial intelligence capabilities were also highlighted. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.